The story of Bunting Cody Architects really started long before the company began. It started with my thesis in 1983. I called that thesis the Living Breathing Building, and at that time, my thesis was rejected as not architecture. Since then, we've come such a long way that now we have an international movement called the Living Building. And it's a whole new concept in buildings. They live, they breathe, and they don't need a mechanistic system to keep them going. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, <laughs> but the world needs green design now. And we're in a perfect position to provide that. We have spent the past 15 years figuring out how to do better buildings, how to make the world a better place. And now, with all the concerns we have around our economy and our climate, there's no better time for these solutions. Today we have over 50 employees and we have lineups of people wanting to work with us. They come here because they want to be involved in the cutting edge of new building design, but also because they love the way we work. They love our values. What a lot of people don't know is that buildings consume half the resources that we humans extract from the planet every year. So as a building professional, I think I'm in a tremendous position to have a positive effect on that resource use, that energy use, that water use, and to really deal with climate action and environmental degradation and everything that we are all worried about here through our work. Traditionally, architecture has been a field of unique individuals that work alone and imagine a beautiful vision for a building. And what we have done is quite the opposite. Our vision here is to work collaboratively, design the building together as an integrated whole. We get much more complex buildings out of it, much more interesting buildings out of it, and a much higher performance in our buildings. It's been our innovation, and it's been our contribution. The best thing for me with working with Teresa has been that she is the most inspirational leader I've ever worked with. I'll never forget a meeting where Teresa talked to us a lot about positivity and was basically saying to the management to never criticize. It's something that really resonated with me and I see how well that's worked for her and I intend to embody that for the rest of my career. It's so important to find your passion in life and once you do, everything you learn will just go in effortlessly. You'll remember everything and when you have a passion, other people will recognize it in you and help you achieve your goals. That's true.